Hey folks, Randy from DCRamaker.com. Today we've got Garmin's Verb Ultra 30. I'm doing a bit of a comparison between image stabilization on this side here and non-image stabilization on this side. Um, now the way electronic image stabilization works is it takes a bigger uh, resolution than you're actually recording. So in this case, it's got a 4K sensor and it's going ahead and cropping a portion of that to reduce the bumps. Um, so that's why you can't actually run it on 4K mode, for example. So I bumped it down to 1080p, 60 frames per second, uh, which is still quite good. It's the standard for most YouTube uploads these days. Um, so just kind of give you a feel how it works. So what I'm gonna do is I've got the screen split right here. Um, so you won't be able to tell immediately because we're sitting here, but as soon as we get going, it'll be a little more clear to you. Um, and I'm gonna go on pavement here first. It's relatively clean pavement. And then I'm gonna go into the trees a little bit uh, onto some kind of gravelly stuff so you can see what it looks like once I hit rougher roads, um, which is really what image stabilization is all about. It's about taking an image and making it prettier. It's kind of trying to give it that gimbal effect, if you will. Uh, and I've not adjusted any other settings in the unit, so they're all default settings. There's no Pro 2 mode, there's nothing else. It's just uh, straight up defaults. So with that, let's get rolling.
just a quick look at how things work. Uh, again, this side over here had image stabilization, this side did not. Um, I'm on a road bike with standard road racing tires, so uh, despite being a non-road racing tire bike situation, uh, that's what the stabilization looks like. Uh, so you can certainly see the Garmin Verb Ultra 30 with the image stabilization on is definitely a lot smoother uh, than that with the off. Um, so you, you know, 1080p, you're not gonna have any problem getting beautiful images. If you're bumping up to 4K, then you have to turn that off. So just, there's a bit of a, a kind of balance there with features and performance. Uh, so with that, thanks for watching. Go ahead and whack that like button down below, as well as the subscribe button to be stay tuned or to be kept abreast of all sports technology goodness that I release on the channel, uh, especially for things like today, where these videos come out the second the embargo lifts. Have a good one.